The winner of the biggest lottery jackpot of all time has just bought his third mansion. Edwin Castro might have become the luckiest person alive when he won the record-breaking $2.04 billion Powerball jackpot. But is he spending his fortune wisely? Well, with this new mansion, he spent almost 10% of his jackpot in less than a year. Let's take a look inside his newest purchase and some of the things he's blown away his money on. We all know it's not all smooth sailing when you become rich overnight, and Edwin is spending insane amounts of money on something you'd never expect. The odds of winning the Powerball jackpot put you at a 1 in 300 million disadvantage, but Edwin Castro somehow won with a single ticket purchased at a gas station in Altadena, California. Overnight, the 31-year-old was suddenly a billionaire. Well, almost. He opted for the lump sum, which meant he actually took home $997.6 million. Oh, and then he had to pay federal taxes, which have been estimated at a whopping $370 million. He's just lucky that California doesn't add on state lottery tax for lottery winners, or he would have lost even more cash. So, in the end, Edwin probably had $627 million in his bank account. But let's not underestimate how much money that really is. But when the money starts rolling in, so do the expenses. And one of the most surprising things he's spending his money on is security. When you've publicly won a $2 billion jackpot, I guess you spend a lot of time looking over your shoulder. But do you sleep better at night knowing you're spending a whopping $21,000 a week on security? Castro reportedly has three guards on duty literally 24-7. The cost is just an estimate, but if it's true, that means he's spending over a million dollars a year on his security team. To put that into perspective, Jeff Bezos reportedly pays 1.6 mil a year for security, and that cost might include high-tech add-ons to his property. His security bill matches Taylor Swift, the Beckhams, and Jennifer Aniston. But let's not forget, those stars are the top earners in their field. Edwin Castro isn't really earning anything, except maybe on investments. Can he really afford that? Maybe, but it wasn't even his first expense. He bought two mansions straight away. There's no doubt Edwin has made some good purchases. His first two properties are pretty spectacular, and they're different enough to justify the two purchases even though they're both in California. But earlier this month, Castro bought a third mansion. It's located in California again. This time, he chose a spot in the iconic Bel Air. But this mansion came with the biggest price tag yet. He bought it for an eye-watering $47 million. It was sold to him by celebrity realtor Mauricio Umansky. And just like any home built for celebs, it comes with a whole host of impressive features. This mansion is the biggest yet, with 7 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. All bedrooms in the house have their own large walk-in closet and a relaxing sitting area. As if that wasn't enough, all the ensuite bathrooms feature an oversized statement bath for the ultimate me time. But before you get a peek at that, you'll have to pass an impressively large koi pond at the entrance to the house. On the other side, you'll walk out toward a vast infinity pool that takes full advantage of a panoramic view of the entire city of Los Angeles. I guess Edwin just can't get enough of the views over LA. So much that he thought it was worth buying two properties that look out over the city. But the view isn't the only feature in the expensive mansion. The home seems to be built for partying and even boast high-tech DJ turntables. There's also something called a champagne tasting room, which we're guessing is something only rich people understand. But there are other features we can all agree are pretty impressive. There's a glass walkway, a wine cellar, and a home cinema, so every visitor has something to enjoy. But like we said, this is the third mansion he's bought in less than a year of winning. Within just 30 days, Edwin had bought a gigantic mansion worth a whopping $25.5 million. We should take you inside this one, too. It's a spectacular property perched in the Hollywood Hills. As if the house alone wasn't enough, it comes with celebrity neighbors like Ariana Grande, Dakota Johnson, and Jimmy Kimmel. The three-story mansion is built into a cliff on top of a ridge that gives it an uninterrupted view of the valley below. The 13,500-square-foot house has to be pretty impressive inside to match that view, and it doesn't disappoint. 
Its contemporary block-style design means that the huge area on the main level is open plan, and that space is ginormous. On one side is a huge, feature fireplace. On the other side, you'll find the stylish and very well-equipped kitchen, which boasts black granite countertops. The other side of the room, which overlooks the view across LA, is simply one giant wall of glass, so you always have the sparkling lights of the city as a feature in the home. Of course, the glass wall can slide open to connect the living area to the sun loungers and infinity pool. Even though the inside of the house is so close to the outdoor area, if you stepped around the side of the house next to the pool, you'd find a full outdoor kitchen with a built-in barbecue. But that's just the beginning. The house has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, as well as a ton of special extras. And we'll get to those in a minute. The master bedroom also features the breathtaking floor-to-ceiling views of the city and takes full advantage of it with a big balcony with an outdoor sofa set. Walk through the ensuite bathroom with a stone shower toward the freestanding bathtub and you'll discover the bathroom also has its own balcony with spectacular views. There is, of course, a really big walk-in closet connected to the room. But that doesn't mean the other four bedrooms don't deserve some love. It seems like they also each feature a balcony, and their en-suites are all different, so there's always something surprising to discover. If that wasn't enough outdoor space, the mansion is also topped with a big roof terrace. To help you make the most of the outdoors late into the night, you'll find two fire pits hidden on the property. Back inside, there are plenty of luxuries to discover. The property boasts a private fitness studio, which also looks out over the beautiful views so you won't get bored while working out. It's equipped with not just one, but two luxurious indoor spa-style plunge pools, one hot and one cold. There's also a dry sauna and a steam shower in that serene space. Another level of the house features a spectacular bar that looks like it was plucked from a five-star hotel. And, of course, the bar is connected to a games room with a pool table at the center. Just off to the side is a beautiful private movie theater fitted with super comfortable seats. To finish it off, the mansion has two separate garages that can hold up to seven cars. And that might be a good thing, because Edwin has been seen driving around in a vintage Porsche 911. You're probably wondering about the price tag. That's what we're here for. Sources say it's worth a whopping 250 grand. Let's face it, it's a gorgeous car. Must have been pretty difficult to resist that purchase. After the car, he went shopping again. This time, he was on the hunt for another mansion. This one didn't cost nearly as much as the first, and it's located in his hometown, so he might have bought it for a good reason. He probably wanted a place to stay when he visits his family. But even though it wasn't super expensive, it's still not cheap. It's worth $4 million. This Japanese-inspired mansion was built in the late 1950s. It's surrounded by tall, tropical palm trees and features a gentle mountain view. The property is clearly designed for serenity but still has modern finishes, like an open-plan living room, dining area, and kitchen. The large living room with floor-to-ceiling windows also has a fireplace and built-in clock as a feature. The Jatoba wood floors are another selling point in the house. The kitchen, like his other house, is very well equipped and comes with granite countertops and a kitchen island slash breakfast bar. The kitchen also opens onto a tropical garden thanks to large glass doors. The outdoor space comes complete with a saltwater swimming pool, a sun deck, and zen patio. Like the Hollywood Mansion, this property also has five bedrooms, but only five bathrooms, two less than the Hollywood house. The bedrooms all seem pretty big, and some even open out onto the landscaped gardens. You've probably noticed all the artwork by now. The house came with the artwork included, and it seems that alone is worth a substantial amount of money. Walk through the house, and you'll find another living room that also opens onto the gardens. There are a lot of hidden features to this house, too. It comes with a solar-powered energy system and a two-car garage complete with an electric car charging port. But that's not the only bonus. Aside from the private office, it also has a cozy cinema. Even outside of the screening room, the whole house is fitted with surround sound audio speakers, which all music lovers will agree is a dream. Does it sound like it was worth all that money? We hope so. And we also hope Edwin knows what he's doing. We're wishing him the best and hoping he doesn't blow all his cash on expensive houses like other lottery winners before him. 
think this $47 million mansion is expensive? It's not even close to the most expensive homes in the world. You definitely don't want to miss these insane properties with the biggest price tags in the world.